35 now. All electric heating and cooking is going to be required in new buildings in New York State starting in the year 2026. With this new legislation, understandably, a lot of questions have emerged if electric works as well as natural gas and how much cost can be a factor. CBS 6's Tom Eschen went into an actual home with geothermal heating to find out. Joanne and Paul Coons went to geothermal heating 12 years ago. The difference that I see is, is um, um, maintenance. When we had an older house and, and we had um, a gas there, we were constantly trying to um, maintain the system and it was costing us a lot of money. Installing geothermal heating and cooling in a home costs an average of about $15,000. But after that, at least it's 25% cheaper on a monthly basis compared to traditional methods. Before we used to pay $4,000 a year in propane costs to heat our home. Now we have heating and cooling and it doesn't cost anything because the electricity it takes to run the system is covered by our photovoltaic panels. Experts say the ground is generally around 50 degrees throughout the year, which they say makes the geothermal pump more efficient. In the wintertime, when you're looking to heat your home, you are now transferring that heat to go from the 50s into, say, 68. So there's a lot less work that needs to be done as opposed to other systems that are generating the heat themselves and, and trying to create that. Geothermal is becoming more popular and it'll need to, as New York State is the first to plan on banning fossil fuels in the future. Our budget prioritizes nation-leading climate action that meets this moment with ambition and the commitment it demands. Buildings account for about 11% of the nation's carbon pollution. But the minority Republicans in the Assembly have responded, as every one of them has signed on to a bill to undo the state's requirement. My thing is, is don't mandate people to do it. If, if it's going to save them money and, and if they think it's better for them, well, it, it means something to them, they're going to do it. Chris Tague says he approves of energy-efficient methods, but argues against the timeline the legislature has enacted. If there are other ways of doing it, I, I think you could use all of it uh, together. And if, if, if the other stuff works out, well, then everybody will you know, have a time period to switch over to it. The state, in the meantime, trying to incentivize this type of change with tax credits. The New York State Clean Heat Program that helps customers uh, with the upfront costs. So we're seeing more uptake in those those applications coming through to us and, and inquiries on how to uh, look at even future solutions. That was Tom Eschen reporting. National Grid says right now the electric grid can handle the current rate of people converting to all electric, but is going to need to continue taking steps towards building more infrastructure to keep up with the state's future requirements.